I'm Dr. Howard Langstein. I'm Chief of Plastic Surgery here at the University of Rochester. Over the course of the last few days, there have been a series of announcements um, related to uh, the safety of breast implants. Specifically, um, the FDA came out with a, um, an announcement that there might be a small, very small, uh, increase in risk of a very unusual type of a cancer in patients who've had breast implants. Uh, over the past 10 years, um, somewhere between 5 and 10 million uh, patients have received breast implants either for reconstruction for after breast cancer or uh, for, for cosmetic reasons. And um, in the United States, there have been about 30 cases of patients who've had something called anaplastic uh, lymphoma. It's a very unusual lymphoma that happens only in about uh, one in 30 million women or thereabouts. And it presents, actually, as a little bit of extra fluid around a breast implant. Uh, in, and in the great majority of instances, it's painless. Um, um, but as far as we know, um, it is symptomatic in that more fluid develops around the implant or it gets firm or the shape changes. Now, I, I have to caution that this is such a, this has such great potential to alarm patients uh, who have implants in place. And uh, the FDA did not go to the extent of, of warning patients that you need to go and see your doctor. They said that there'll be no real change in the way you get followed up. Uh, specifically, it's, uh, the, the warning is pretty much out to practitioners. So that if uh, we see patients who have some fluid around an implant, especially if it presents late, practitioners are, are encouraged to then explore the possibility that there might be this unusual type of a problem. And so we're, <clears throat> we're requested to remove some fluid and send it for analysis. It sounds frightening, but th this type of a lymphoma is essentially curable and even treatable by simply removing the implant or removing the tissue around the implant. And in very, very few instances did this disease present outside of the breast at all. So it's the sort of thing that may be a result in some very few patients of an irritative process around a breast implant, and it causes just enough of an inflammatory reaction that the cells get unusually stimulated to form this type of a lymphoma. And again, it's treatable by removing the, just the tissue right around it. So I don't think there's a huge cause for concern. So the question comes up, uh, whether patients who have implants should do anything different uh, with this information? And the answer is really no. Patients who have implants should be evaluated. They should be doing self-exams anyway. Patients who have augmentation, that is cosmetic breast enlargement, um, those are patients who should have the implants evaluated regularly to make sure that they haven't ruptured. So exam is still part of the normal routine for a patient who has an implant. And I don't think that the news that the FDA just came out with really should change that.